Hello, I'm Paul Furs. I'm a Chartered Civil Engineer and member of the Institution of Civil Engineers. I work in the water sector, so I design the infrastructure and the pipelines that bring us clean drinking water and also take away the dirty stuff too. Right now I'm 80 metres below ground in the pumping shaft of London's deepest tunnel, the Lee Tunnel. This is a project that I'm incredibly proud to have been part of. The tunnel itself, which was completed in January 2016, is a seven kilometre pipe that runs from the Abbey Mills pumping station in East London, which is quite near to the Olympic Park, over to the Bex and Sewage Works. So it's 80 metres below ground and seven metres in diameter. That's equivalent to about three double-decker buses parked next to each other. And essentially, where it's used to transfer rainwater and sewage from one end to the other. Being so deep, you would never know that it's there, except for the five huge shafts, like this one I'm standing in now, and you can hear the noise of the pumps working away. These shafts are so big, this one, for example, is 38 metres in diameter and 80 metres deep. That's enough to swallow up Big Ben without even noticing. As well as the shafts, we've also got lots of roads, buildings, structures, pipes, power, everything which was required in order to access and then also to operate the tunnel. Such a huge project had no end of challenges to overcome, such as how do you uh, tunnel so deep? How do you stop the shaft we have here from leak it, cracking and leaking when it's full of water? How do you connect into the existing structures at each end without, while they remain operational and without breaking or damaging parts of them, some of which were up to 150 years old. Not to mention how to get people to side, how to get deliveries there, and how to get all the spoil away. Building this project took hundreds of people, of which civil engineers were an essential part, in order to overcome the challenges, and then also to do, do them in a way that's safe, sustainable, and affordable. Although you might not be able to see the tunnel, you can definitely see its impacts. See, most of London's sewer network was built by the Victorians 150 years ago. These sewers are an incredible piece of civil engineering and they still work really well today. They're what we call combined sewers, which means that they carry both rainwater and sewage. In order to prevent them from backing up into people's houses after very heavy rainfall, they were designed with overflows into the River Thames. This means that anything that gets flushed down the loo could end up in the river. Ooh. When the sewers were built 150 years ago, London's population was around about two and a half million people. And these overflows into the river, they were a very rare occurrence. Today, however, with London's population of over eight and a half million people, the, the overflows are much more common and can ha could happen up to once a week on average. These more frequent overflows not only cause the unsightly things you see floating around in the river, they also cause real health impacts and environmental impacts for those around. The worst of the overflows was at the Abbey Mills pumping station, where each year 16 million tonnes of sewage and rainwater was being discharged into the River Thames via the River Lee. 16 million tonnes is roughly equivalent to one swimming pool every hour for the whole year. Ooh. Now, however, these overflows are captured at Abbey Mills and transferred via the Lee Tunnel to the Bex and Sewage Works, where they're pumped out and treated. This prevents the sewage getting into the river and it creates a cleaner, healthier River Thames. I'm really proud that what we've done here has huge environmental and health benefits, not just now, but for generations to come. And this is just the start. Right now, the Thames Tideway Tunnel is being constructed to capture even more of these overflows and create an even healthier River Thames. But it's not just the River Thames. Every day, civil engineers are working across the world to make our rivers and seas cleaner and to provide safe, clean drinking water to everyone. If you'd like to be a part of it, to use your ingenuity to help turn challenges into opportunities, to help make a better world, and to be able to say, we made something like this, and come and join us. This is civil engineering. <laughs>